Um, this is just an illustration of one of the, another one of the tunnel tops. It's a, just a sketch that describes how we're going to um, uh, plant the uh, and 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 uh, naturalize the public spaces. So again, um, I'll just there's an opportunity to integrate public art, there's an opportunity to integrate all the ecological features. We're looking at uh, constructive ways of handling drainage so we had to hydrate these landscapes. And I thought I had a second, sorry. Um, uh, can't go back, so. Yeah, from the other side. Yeah, all right, anyway. Um, uh, the, the, yeah. Oh, we're up or down. Mm -hmm. Going. Yep. Good. Go. Okay. So um, part of the uh, opportunity in these in these uh, tunnel tops uh, is to actually make them useful and usable as as green space. Make them useful and usable as ecological restoration areas. And these are the spaces also that carry the trails and in some locations travel carry the roads. So they in fact become pretty pretty important spaces because at this point the 401 is is uh, is well below grade and these are the pieces that actually people will see and interact with. Um, we're also uh, addressing the issue of screening, both acoustic screening and visual screening. And of course the concern for many people is what am I going to see when I look out my window? Is my view going to be impacted and, and uh, am I going to hear noise? And so we've addressed these issues with uh, both vegetative buffers, um, with sound walls and combinations of sound walls and vegetative buffers uh, and uh, to create what we think will be attractive, visually attractive um, screens. And uh, we've also looked at the potential for using public art as part of the screening so the noise walls will be patterned with themes that are, that are part of the uh, um, tall grass prairie. Uh, needless to say, the materials are kind of carefully uh, selected, the colors are carefully selected so that the visual impact as, is as attractive as possible. The, the roadside landscapes um, are, are quite significant. They also are about 50% of, uh, of the corridor and they're challenging in that these are primarily grasslands. We're using a, a percentage of native species in order to have some ecological contribution uh, <coughs> for these. However, they need to be quite salt tolerant, heat tolerant, and uh, be able to exist in uh, what we think are fairly challenging conditions. Um, so the corridor in the uh, has a combination of roadside landscape setting. Some are grasslands only, some are grasslands with shrubs, some are grasslands with trees. And uh, wherever it's possible to actually um, vegetate the corridor, uh, the roadsides, we will be trying to um, encourage a uh, fast-growing um, tree species that will improve the experience actually with, within the, the roadway itself. Uh, Stormwater management uh, landscapes are very challenging. In this case, they include the ponds, but they also include, um, uh, these ponds are all integrated within the ecological landscapes. They're all integrated within the trail system. So we're looking at facilities that no, uh, not only need to address quality and quantity issues, but really need to be fully accessible uh, to the public and need to be safe for the public. So the challenge here is to design um, in, uh, uh, to do that. So some of them are wet ponds, some of them uh, we have flooded meadows at times, we use we have natural channel design, so I think it's fair to say we've used every tool we can to ensure that these contribute ecologically, are aesthetically acceptable and meet the Ministry of the Environment standards. Uh, and some of them have to address fish and wildlife issues. So there are some are uh, fish habitat compensation. So there are, in fact, I think some fairly uh, innovative and uh, uh, interesting um, uh, strategies that are being employed by our water resources engineers. Um, a little bit about uh, the trail system, because uh, this the trail system will be how many people actually experience the corridor. And the trail system is uh, the primary path four meters wide, travels the length of the parkway, utilizes the tunnel tops. Um, there are trail bridges um, that allow you to cross over the parkway and over the municipal road, so you're essentially cycling uh, without encountering uh, vehicles. There are some secondary trails that allow you to connect into the system from the community, um, and the uh, trailheads are proposed at Malden Road, 
Howard Avenue and Howard Avenue Diversion. So we are uh, planning on connecting to the Laurier Parkway with the trail system. We are uh, uh, for Windsor connecting all the way to uh, to Malden Road. So along the trail there will be um, informational interpretive signage, there will be wayfinding, and uh, we also will include um, uh, uh, safety stations along the trail. It will be fully lit with the uh, full cut off dark sky lighting, and uh, it, I think it will indeed provide a tremendous recreational amenity and potential for the area. And that completes my part of the the uh, technical presentation, but just to provide you with a little bit of uh, information moving forward, to the, today is our first public open house. So you've just had sort of the windshield survey of uh, what we're going to talk about. We uh, intend to have several others. We'll be back in April. Uh, and our promise to the community is that we will have context-sensitive workshops. Uh, we'll be working here for three days to talk to people about specifically, here's where I live, what am I going to look at, um, you know, uh, to try to work through some of the technical issues they may have. So we are <coughs> making the commitment to do that. We're also making the commitment to talk to other stakeholders um, to, who have in the past had input or have concerns about the plan to describe to them how we're addressing those concerns and uh, how we're moving forward. So um, there will be um, uh, additional opportunities, uh, both at a, an open house level and uh, and individual and uh, working group meetings. And we will be providing uh, uh, contact information. Uh, we'll be posting uh, tweets on Twitter and uh, we'll be encouraging people to come forward to, uh, to discuss the landscape design elements in April.